so the very important in fact so the very most important thing is i said it like that the very important thing you need to know about vlogging first of all especially if you're going to be vlogging your whole life where you go out you're on the streets people are seeing you you're in a restaurant you're like out on your estate street or wherever you are is you need to have zero shame like this much shame so that when you're vlogging and you know you, you you don't have a problem asking somebody to help you record something or take a picture you must have no shame my youtube channel if you're new to this channel hi my name is ibiduni osho and i'm a content creator here in lagos nigeria and i create content related to everything that you guys see here on my youtube channel and today guys as i decided to say it's down below i'm going to be talking to you guys about how to make more interesting vlogs in 2020 i'm going to be sharing cinematic video making tips with you guys now we must all accept that vlogging has now become the in thing you know like pop culture here on youtube it has kind of become a way where brands you know bring their customers or their audience into their lives into the behind the scenes so vlogs is like how you make people feel like they're part of you or they're part of your brand one way or the other so i'm going to be doing all this in today's video if you'd like to know how to make more interesting vlogs in 2020 especially the cinematics part of it please do keep on watching so the very important in fact so the very most important thing is i said it like that the very important thing you need to know about vlogging first of all especially if you're going to be vlogging your whole life where you go out you're on the streets people are seeing you you're in a restaurant you're like out on your estate street or wherever you are is you need to have zero shame like this much shame so that when you're vlogging and you know you, you you don't have a problem asking somebody to help you record something or take a picture you must have no shame that's the very very first thing that you must know about creating interesting content or else what will happen is when you now go to a place right and you see something really cool and you hear this you're like oh i want to share with you youtube but then because you're shameful you're like oh i care about what people say no throw your shame away i'll record that content for us because we are here to watch your interesting life do you understand what i mean now um let's talk about the more technical part now the very first questions you need to ask yourself is what is your equipment for example we all know that to record you have to have a camera so it's either you have your phone camera or you have an actual mirrorless camera like i do i'm using right now which is a canon eos m50 mirrorless camera or you have a dslr camera also you can have a go Pro. now the next equipment to keep in mind is what is your medium what are you using to store what you're recording for us if you're using your phone of course you're using your inbuilt storage in your phone or the external memory card that you put in your phone of course if you're using your camera you must have a memory card if you're using your GoPro or your DSLR the same thing now the next thing to keep in mind in order to record interesting vlogs is sound guys a lot of youtubers underrate the importance of great sound quality in their vlog the next thing to keep in mind is not a necessary accessory for everybody for example if you're using your phone right now this is my samsung sa plus if i wanted to record something this is typically the way i would go on to record but if i really wanted to take like a larger a wider space all i have to do is attach my selfie stick to it that is if i'm using my phone if i'm using my camera all i have to do is attach this gorilla pod to it and i'll be able to hold it at an arm's and be able to record and still show people what I'm doing and it's not going to be shaky it's going to be stable now one last very important equipment in filming vlogs that a lot of vloggers actually don't pay attention to is lighting lighting is so underrated just like sound the problem is if you don't know the best way to make use of 
free daylight that you get you find situations where the video is overexposed or it's looking noisy or the content quality is not so good you need to pay close attention to your lighting if you want if you use a camera you can decide to get yourself a point and shoot small led you can decide to use natural daylight i advise for those of you that may prefer to use natural daylight and you have a camera you can decide to actually splurge on an nd filter preferably a variable nd filter so that way when you're out and about maybe like in the sun or very early in the morning when it's very bright you can actually use that nd filter and use it to diffuse um you know the ray of light or the um, exposure in your video now let's talk about the actual body of your vlog now like this is the cocoa of this video now the very first important thing you want to make sure that you take care of when you are doing your vlogs is your hook you typically want to plan your vlogs first of all and then you want to make sure that your hook is as catchy as possible for example on the day that i and some of my friends you know some of my girls went to the beach i had to make sure that the hook of that video was good enough and enticing enough to make you guys keep on watching she may be pretty she may be smart she may be funny, she's changed your broken heart I'll never be her, although I try She may seem perfect for you, but so am I Now like I said, you need to plan your video So typically you want to ask yourself what is the story that i am trying to tell now in movie making here there's something called following the chronological process when you plan your video right before you shoot it you're aware that there's a beginning there's a peak point and then there's the end of your video so you want to make sure that you follow the chronological order for example you just want to show us how you wake up in the morning get dressed and go to work what you don't want to do is just place your camera somewhere and just take us through it or just say hi guys so i just woke up i'm going to brush my teeth now and then i'm going to you know have my bath and then i'm going to work no what you want to do is record yourself waking up then record yourself brushing your teeth having of course not showing us your nakedness but like something that signifies that you're having your bath you dressing up and then you walking out the door so that way there's a chronological process and then typically right in that very short story the peak point of that that sequence may actually be where you're having your bath because if they see you brush your teeth they're like is she going to show herself having a bath just that what i mean so you want to make sure that you follow the chronological process of telling your story All right, guys, so the next thing you want to sort is the types of clips that you want to put in your video. For example, you can decide to put the talking clips and your B-rolls. Now, the talking clips are split into two, informational and reactional. Now, informational is, hi, guys, I just woke up this morning. I'm going to be recording the vlog for you guys today, ETC. Now, reaction is you're at maybe like Oluma Rock and you saw something really cool and you're, react you're reacting to it. You can decide to record that and show it to us here on YouTube. Now, the next thing are your B-rolls. Now, your B-rolls, is typically supplementary clip that you add to your videos to flesh up your video to give it more you know depth to give it more feel like i'm doing right now i'm actually walking and i'm holding my camera and my arm is aching me but i'm doing this for you guys you know so this is a b-roll that i decided to add to my video to not make it stationary and basic and boring like i've been sitting indoors and talking to you guys all day now there are different types of b-rolls that you can decide to add to your video you can decide to add shots of nature for example i'm currently walking in this beautiful street let me show it to you guys this is a really nice view And this is a shot of nature now another type of b-roll shot is the landscape shot or like some people like to call it your stabs so basically this kind of b-roll shot stabs they show where you're headed or where you are about to enter for example i'm currently going to my friend's house you guys can see in this vlog that i'm actually showing an stab of her place so that way you guys see that this is where i am entering now another type of shot you can decide to do is currently what I'm doing at the moment. This is an up close shot to show the details of this plant that I'm currently recording for you guys. So this shows details of whatever it is you're trying to show us in your vlog. So this is another type of b-roll shot. Basically, it shows you guys full view of what I'm wearing. This is kind of shot you use for an OOTD of what you're wearing for the day. I mean, this really nice biker shorts. 
if you guys get what i mean now the last example of b-roll shots that i have for you is called a perspective shot so for example right now i'm recording my feet walking because i'm trying to show you guys that i'm headed somewhere for example i can decide to also record myself opening the door that way you guys feel like oh she's about to go in somewhere you know it kind of makes you feel like you are seeing exactly what i am seeing just the way that i am seeing it Something I must say, however, is that you don't necessarily have to plan everything through, right? Of course, you want to have like a skeletal work, something good enough though for you to work with. But sometimes you may not necessarily need to like script everything. I am on the other side, a perfectionist. So you would actually find me writing almost my whole script almost every time that i vlog but you know um sometimes what i try to do is just have like an idea i know that okay from this i want to go to this from this i want to go to this a lot of times i also leave room for my interpretation or my imagination so that if i get like another inspiration of another way to do something i won't say okay because i've already scripted it i've already scripted everything you know it has to be that way now something else i have to say is you need to shoot more b-rolls than you think for example if you think you're only going to need five b-rolls you know for a particular video what you want to do is actually shoot 10 b-rolls in fact 15 b-rolls so that way as you get to editing because trust me sometimes when you get to editing that's when you figure out that oh i actually don't need this one, i actually don't need this one. and then by the time you start removing all the things that you don't need by the time you check what you have what you have left it won't even be enough for you to even edit like a two minute clip so something else you want to make sure you do is figure out your editing style now if you're not very good at editing there's nothing wrong with that you get better with time something you can do is watch some of my faves that i am about to recommend for you one is peter mckinnon another one is matt hapoja matt i write all of them names yeah matt hapoja another one is potato jets these three there's like so many others though <laughs> there are like so many others i like to watch but these three are kind of like some of my faves that i think you guys would actually find great tips and techniques on their pages and i also intend to actually do some tutorials once in a while show you guys like ways i shoot diff different things and how you guys can actually make some of your best shots even if you're shooting with your phone now still on finding your editing style something else you always need to do is when it's time for you to edit you need to go through all your footage like even before you find your sound even before you you know figure out some of the other things except your hook of course you need to go through all your footage so you see what you're working with you see okay this is what i have this is what i have this is what i have if there's something you can move from the back to the front typically what i do is i actually put all my like i watch all my videos I can watch them more than once i watch all my videos and then i leave like a day or two in my head for it to sit so when i hear a sound i know this sound will go for this one this sound will go for that one so that that's also the essence of planning your vlogs ahead of time so even if you shoot your weekend and you want to post it on a friday once you're done shooting your weekend like on a sunday night but like monday maybe before you head out for work or like when you're back in the evening go through your videos see what you have what you have to work with so that during the week before you actually start editing this video you can actually come up with the ways and the styles you'd rather cut something or the transitions you'd rather use for a particular part of your video now the next thing after going through all your clips and you're thinking of ways and imagining ways you can edit it is do your rough cut so your rough cut is basically you cutting away all the unnecessary parts of your video cutting it strictly to the most important parts of the video now the next thing is my best and my favorite part of editing a vlog which is finding the right sound like i literally jam when i'm looking for soundtracks for my vlogs i plug my earpiece on my laptop and sometimes i will put it on my loudspeaker and i just I'm just jamming because for me the way I edit my vlogs is I typically not every vlog though but I typically want to like be in the mood I want to be inspired I want to be in the right jiggy mind you know what I mean and just like be able to like first example right I like to edit my vlogs especially my hooks on beats right at the high beat sometimes on the low beat sometimes so what I want to do is I want to listen to that song and hear it doom, doom. so that way I'm like I know what i want to edit and i know the like because you've, i've gone through my videos right i can already see where something will end i can see what i want to put in next i want to see the tra i already know the transition i want to use if it's a sweeping transition if it's a zoom to infinity 
that way when you are about to edit like when you listen to the songs right and you pay attention to the high beats to the low beats the mid tones you already know how you want that particular video to go all right guys so we've come to the end of today's video i hope you guys had fun watching this i hope you guys found one or two useful clips while watching this video now if you guys enjoyed this if you found it useful don't forget to leave the thumbs up button let me know that you guys loved watching this also leave any comments with questions leave comments with your questions with anything that you found really really useful in this video also you guys can give me video ideas on things that you think you want from me here on youtube now my next video is going to be a about how I plan my YouTube content ahead of time so that way I don't run out of YouTube video ideas for you guys but also if you're new to this gang don't forget to join this gang by smashing that subscribe button down there so that you can become a member of this lit gang see you guys on Friday with my next vlog remember to be good and be kind bye guys